we're going Italian today, a recipe that comes straight from Rome. And here to share the dish in our CI kitchen from his upcoming Spice Box Center to you by student chef Jonathan Ip. So welcome. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. We're getting Anybody ready. Anybody who brings food is welcome. <laughs> that is <laughs> the truth. That's how it works. That's the truth. <laughs> so for um, those who may not be familiar with the Spice Box over at the U of I, let's talk a little bit about what that is. Absolutely. So as a senior that is major in hospitality management, um, your food for your senior capstone project, you need to create a restaurant concept and actually execute it off for a day. And so personally for me, I chose Roman Italian cuisine because um, I studied abroad there for two months. And I definitely want to bring and translate the experience that I had there to the spice box or the restaurant. And then so today I'm going to show you a recipe that I definitely found very tasty in Rome when I had. It. What was one of your favorite things in Rome? I was there this last year and it felt like oh. everything I tried was unbelievably good. There's too many. Yeah. <laughs> too many. <laughs> to even get started, but definitely one of my favorite is this pizza place. And because I stay in Trastevere, which is a very like up and coming area where a lot of locals go and not many touristy place. And this um, pizza place where they had their signature is um, a spicy ham with a chili oil sauce mm -hmm. on top of the pizza. And then when you have that, it's like the most amazing thing, especially at night. Mm. Anything with tomatoes in Italy is really good, and I'm going to break <laughs> both. And anything you're going to be serving at your Spice Box meal, I'm sure, is going to be just as tasty. <laughs> so we're making a gnocchi dish. I know how to say yes. that because Curious George taught me many years ago when my kids <laughs> that were That was little. the name of the yes. cat, wasn't it? Watch several Forgot. episodes. I had no idea how that was spelled. Okay. So what is gnocchi? Gnocchi, so it's just basically you can think of it as a... Uh, pasta as, as like a rice ball almost but instead of rice is used um could be potatoes or could be ricotta so for instance for me i use ricotta to make my gnocchi and it mm. consists of uh, eggs flour and ricotta so it's super super easy and it's super super easy to make at home i was just gonna say it sounded super super complicated I know. Frankly. <laughs> um, and there's lots of little bowls with little things on it so uh, how do we get started with all this so um we're gonna cook the gnocchi later because it only takes honestly like a few minutes to do it and so we're gonna start sauteing all the ingredients first okay. to make okay. our sauce. So first thing that we want to do is add our butter. Now is this gonna be like your entree, your appetizer, what what is this? So this is going to be my um, special two course entree and it's gonna be a vegetarian option. Oh. So oil and butter. Right. They, the reason to do that is because um, butter has a very low heat resistance, so it gets brown very easily. So by adding oil to it, it will kind of combat that. So make sure the sauce is not brown and turns bitter. Okay. So is this sort of stuffed with things then, the, these, these balls of pasta? <laughs> for like no, it's just like really a ball of potato, right? Right. But instead, it's not potato this time. It's going to be ricotta. Oh, ricotta. So ricotta. it's even going to be more like fluffy and kind of melts in your mouth. That's the kind of that texture that. Bad? That w I'm trying to create in. Not in your hand, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Old commercial. What are we going to throw into the Absolutely skillet next? Bad. So, the first thing that we want to skill is the oyster mushrooms. You can honestly use any mushrooms that you want, but since oyster is kind of in season right now. Oyster mushrooms? Oyster mushrooms. Never heard of them. Hmm. Have you? They kind of uh. have like a, like a flower, almost flower kind of look like mushrooms, but um, it's the most mild mushrooms that there is right now. And Can you find a pearl inside? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. no. But, but it is really mild, so especially for people that do not really like that mushroomy taste, this is the perfect mushroom to be Okay. Having. Mushrooms that don't taste like mushrooms are my favorite. Right, but it ha also has <laughs> a really meaty flavor, uh, texture to it, nice. which is yeah. really, really nice. Okay, you had some other things on this plate so, here. appear to be onions. Um, those are actually fennels. And other You're close. They're related, <laughs> right? Um, so how I think of fennels thing. is basically like a hybrid of green onions and onions because they kind of taste the both combination of both. So, and it's also a very seasonal ingredient in spring, that's which I was trying to emphasize in Italian cuisines is that they use a lot of seasonal ingredients in their in their food. They're cooking. Okay. So, I'm going to keep guessing. Is this some sort of chicken stock? So I actually made this um, mushroom stock this morning. Because it's vegetarian. And it um, only consists of mushrooms, onions, thyme, parsley, and some salt in it. Wow. And you could make this literally within 30 minutes and it would instantly add more mushroom flavor to your gnocchi dish as Are a you, sauce. You know what else you could do? You could just go to Jonathan's Spice Box meal and have <laughs> yes. him cook it for you. Th I promise you that is way more likely to happen than me actually put all this stuff together. <laughs> okay, what are you getting ready to do now? So after this, 
We want oh. to. That's not um, what I was expecting. I was not either. <laughs> leave it out because um, since the cooking time of the mushrooms and the fennels is different, we don't we don't want to overcook the oysters oh. or else it will become really rubbery. So what we want to do now yeah. is add the fennels. Don't need skillet. to add more butter or anything. Uh, no, because um, the oil of it is already going to be um, coated nicely in coated there? in the oh, pan. Okay. So he's got this. He's he does. Got this. He totally no has more, this. Um, oil in it. That was a good flip. Too. When do we put these weeds in? <laughs> oh, so this is a garnish, and if you ever notice on a fennel, it has two parts to it, the bulb, and then the top part, I'm not sure what it's called, but these are the fronds of the fennels, and it's really nice garnish. So to make it look pretty it. at the end? Right. All right, all right, we will wait for that. Okay, we'll we've got a few other ingredients that he's gonna toss in this skillet, and we'll have the big gnocchi reveal coming up. In the meantime, head to CILiving.tv, where we actually have all of Jonathan's information about his upcoming win in Rome spice box meal. When is it? March 29th. March 29th. It's on Stay Living TV right now.